Totally Baseball is a virtual reality baseball game available on Steam and on Quest Main Store for $14.99 USD. At the time of this review, it is the best baseball game on headsets that provides a full baseball experience, meaning that you get the bat, pitch, and play defense for your team. Its goal is not to replicate reality, but it tries to find a middle ground between arcade and realistic physics. If you're looking just for my summarized opinion on this title, skip to the final thoughts timestamp below, but let's get into the details. Offense is played exclusively as the batter, and this is the part of the game that I find the most fault with, personally. The motion of the batting is typical, as you wait for the pitcher to pitch, and then you swing for it. A good thing about this title versus other baseball titles is that you can't turn a home run with a basic flick of the wrist. Your hit is metered in a much more realistic take. One issue up front is not one that is caused by the physics or developers, but just a restriction on general controller tracking. If you're playing with a headset like the Quest 2, where controllers are tracked from sensors on the headset, you can't set up in a traditional batting stance where you're facing the pitcher and your hands are 180 degrees behind your head. This is not an issue for base tracking headsets like HTC or Steam or if you have Quest Pro controllers. The second issue for me is that this is a two controller title, meaning that the swinging with one controller held by two hands isn't a realistic option. It makes swinging a bat too far away from reality for me to personally enjoy, and it takes away some precision that you would get with two hands. A final issue for me comes exclusively from playing the game on PC VR using my Quest 2. I don't have a monster PC, but I do have enough CPU, RAM, and GPU to handle playing things like Compound, Boneworks, and Knockout League without significant frame drops. When moments of interaction happen in this game, such as batting or releasing a throw, there's a delay in my input of the interaction. Meaning if I'm batting, even if I maintain eye contact with the ball and bat through a swing, it often hits well behind what I would expect. I tested recording, wired, and wirelessly, and I had this issue with all three versions. When I temporarily tested this on the Quest 2 standalone app, it was not an issue at all. Although this could have been system side on my end, I felt it important to mention for PC VR users. On the pitching and fielding side, I have to refute that it feels as natural as throwing a baseball, but it does have a consistent physics for throwing that you can adapt to and get good at. Pitching can be done either by doing a normal throw motion with the release of a grip trigger, or you can use a cannon option that allows you to shoot the ball where you want it to go if you are playing a more casual game. The fielding is done by teleporting your VR consciousness to the fielder closest to the play for you to catch, tag, throw, etc. If teleporting isn't your fancy, you can adjust the level of interaction on defense to match your desires. This is easily the best option available in this game. Again, you can use either the realistic throw or cannon to make the play. The game does single player in a short campaign mode where you kind of travel around in a season of sorts to play against other teams, with each team getting slightly better than the last. As you win or lose, you continue your journey through the season and you begin to unlock other environments. It's simple, effective, and it works, but I don't think that it is worth the full price alone to just play single player at the moment. I would love to see some additional modes added like mini games or high score challenges to really bolster that single player action. They also offer the ability to gain in-game coins so that you can customize your character to be exactly how you want it to be, which I think is a nice added touch. I would say, personally, the multiplayer is the biggest reason you would want to get this game. Either you can play with others through a free roam mode, or you can play with friends through a private room, and this is where I think the game really excels. Getting to play a full game of baseball with friends is a really great idea, and I think that if you have friends that you can all purchase this with, then it'll be well worth your time to do so. I am a little harsh on the batting physics, but ultimately I think that a little game optimization on PC and eventual improvement in general tracking hardware, it'll make this game an exceptional experience. There are still lots of little things that would provide this game with better overall experience for single player gamers, and I think that if you're looking for a single player baseball experience, you should hold off for a bit. I wouldn't say this is worth the $15 USD at the moment. However, if you have a friend or friends that you would be interested in playing this with, then I think this is well worth your time if you're into the idea of baseball in VR. Throwing and batting is going to take some practice, but it doesn't have a massive skill floor or ceiling like, say, gym class or the equivalent. Please let me know your thoughts on Totally Baseball in the comments, and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your time and viewership. If you would like to join the community, I host monthly VR tournaments and community nights in my Discord. I would love for you to stop by, say hi, and get involved. On top of that, we are always talking about new news and events in social and casual sport VR. I look forward to seeing you around.